TK101, Ballard here this Saturday at the war, 4 to 8 p.m., the top of the Hops Beer Festival. And joining me now, Mr. Eddie Butterfield from International Wines and Craft Beer. Thank you, first off, for coming in. And I see we're going to drink in a little bit, which makes me happy. Oh, yes. Top of the morning to you. Yeah, right? <laughs> uh, so, this Saturday. Yep, this the Saturday. Event, this is my first one, because uh, I'm fairly new to town. Explain to me what's going down. So basically, uh, the, the Wharf has uh, put together a, a wonderful uh, beer experience for us and have uh, teamed up with International Wines Craft Beer and several other distributors and uh, some world-class breweries. We're going to be showcasing over 150 different uh, beers um, and breweries, um, ranging from styles, from sours, wheats, porters, um, everything you can think of beer-wise will be there this What weekend. are the chances we get through all 150? Pretty darn good, because it's going to be hot, so you'll probably be sweating out half the beers that you drink. That's good. I like <laughs> I like drinking beers, and I like sweating. Uh, I also heard the good thing about this event. There's a designated driver tent. Yep, exactly. Yep, I think you get free admission for a designated driver. Oh, awesome. Yeah, mm-hmm. so this way you know if you're going to go out to the wharf, you're going to have a couple to drink, you'll get home safely. Correct. Now, beer drinking, obviously, the forefront, but what else is going on? Actually, this is the first year we've teamed up with Stone Brewery um, out of San Diego, California, mm-hmm. Monday Night Brewery um, out of Atlanta, Georgia, and Victory Brewery out of Pennsylvania um, for this uh, mixology tent. Um, we've got five local counts from mm-hmm. uh, Mobile and uh, Baldwin County. Their top bartenders are going to be putting on a mixology class where they're uh, taking beers and making a great mixologist version of a uh, beer cocktail, which is unique, something new and fun. Mm-hmm. So I encourage everybody to come out and uh, and try their first, probably their first time ever having a beer cocktail. Now we have Miles from Noble South here. You're going to be mixing, right? Correct. Correct. What exactly are you going to be making? We are going to be making a signature drink that we call the Nobility. And uh, it's a little play on words. Uh, the end of it, you know, it's not T-Y. It's spelled T-E-A, like T. Uh, so you're fancy. nobility. Uh, you're fancy. Am uh, I going to be yes. able to drive home after this? Correct. No, it's uh, it's actually, <laughs> you know, the way we're mixing these drinks, uh, it's not, you know, the, we're, we're mixing it with some other non-alcoholic items. Okay. So, you know, it's not as, you know, not going to hurt people as bad as... Uh, How fancy as, does this get? Like, what, you have a bottle here? It's pretty here. fancy. We've got some pink stuff here, uh, some rose <laughs> lemonade. Ooh, okay. Um, we've got our beer is actually Cellar Door. Um, it's a saison style beer, or like a farmhouse ale, if you would. Very nice. Um, and then we're mixing also uh, bitter milk, a bittering agent. Okay. Uh, and ours is a uh, Ohakan mole bitter, so it's going to be kind of chocolatey, <laughs> coffee kind of flavor. I like those flavors. I don't yeah. know what you just called that thing, though. <laughs> and then we've also got a secret ingredient. Uh, we've got uh, pomegranate that- molasses syrup. I'm not going to pull a favorite now, but, uh, you know, it's not bad. No. <laughs> it's no. not. It's really good, actually. Hold on. And uh, the stuff we picked took into consideration that it's August. It's going to be super hot outside. So, you know, outside in the heat and the sun, that's actually kind of refreshing with the sweetness from the rose lemonade. The Saison is a lighter style of beer. Yeah, you can see how light it is, too. It's not not heavy at all. It's great. It goes down, I mean, easily. Look at me. Well, drink up. It's all yours. <laughs> well, thank you so much for coming in, Miles. You're Appreciate welcome. My pleasure. It. And we uh, look forward to seeing everybody down at the wharf this weekend. So you can find that at the top of the Hops Beer Festival this Saturday at the wharf, 4 to 8 p.m. Tickets. Eddie, how do people get tickets to the event? Um, you can find it at the box office at the wharf as well, or you can go online to the top of the Hops site, and there'll be a link there to uh, get it online as well. I do have to say, though, that for the VIP ticket holders, you will be able to get in at 3 o'clock, so you have a whole hour to yourself with the mixology tickets to yourself and all the other you're, 150 You're like the cool kid at school. You're the first one in. <laughs> it, it, exactly. So don't, don't be tardy. Get your VIP ticket. Get there an hour early, um, and you can get access to even some special beers in the VIP tent as well. We have some Jester Kings and some other really hard-to-get styles of beer that'll be in there, not in the regular tents. That is rad. Eddie, we will be drinking this week, and I'm excited. The Top of the Hops Beer Festival at the Wharf. I will see you there. Get your tickets now. Grab all the other info you need at TK101.com.